Nashville, Tennessee. We're in Opryland area right now. Going toward Knoxville. Opryland Mall is to our right. River, guys, Clinch River, Tennessee, near Knoxville, Watts Bar Lake. Oh my. Knoxville, Tennessee. We just got held up for almost an hour in traffic. It was that bad? I don't know if it was a wreck or what, but we was stop and go, stop and go, over and over, 20 mile an hour. We are still actually in the suburbs. It's about to get bad, but at least we're moving now. Lots to do here for sure. Endless possibilities.
Walker Dam on the Roanoke River, Virginia, or North Carolina, sorry. No water coming out as we speak, completely still. They have a schedule where they do it for a few hours each day. I think today was 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So only for three hours. The water's so low right now, there's rocks sticking up out in the water everywhere. Very low, just like back at home. Every, every state is experiencing a drought right now, so. I bet people got to be careful. We going flying a boat over oh, yeah. here, not paying attention. Yeah, because the rocks get covered. So that? Oh, uh, okay, the, it goes, yeah. Huh. All right, guys, we are going to drive across Kerr Dam, across the top of it, and show the actual lake. 80,000 acres. I don't see a single house. Oh yeah, you don't want to make, you don't want to forget something. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> a lot of times. Or like we have to draw straws on who's going to go it. <laughs> oh, we don't really need that. It's fine. That's a warm feeling wind. Yeah. yeah. It's Must nice. be out of the south then. Depends how the lakes run. See, I don't know my directions okay. here. Left, left north. Oh. South. So I just coming more out the north. Huh. Yes. Boy, there was something right there with that tree. Yeah, turtle. Oh. They like the sun on that. <laughs> I got to hear the about the rooster this morning. Yeah. I thought the same thing you did. I, th I thought them things only made noise in the morning. <laughs> it's all day. <laughs> okay, so we have a little secret. Oh that. my. What? You didn't see the big old swirl? No. <laughs> I didn't see it. We have solar yeah. and regular. I thought I seen a solar panel earlier. Yep. Yeah. It's on, it was it up on above, solar, wasn't it? Almost five years. Huh. When the power was gone, we went home. Uh, it's a sign to go home. Oh. <laughs> and then we've lost the key before, so we try to put it back. Oh. <laughs> I've only dropped the key once in the lake. Oh, I see. He's got a little closet yeah, in there. So yeah, so any of the stuff when we're done, you can throw it in there and we'll lock it back up. And mm -hmm. uh, that okay. way you have access to it mm -hmm. tomorrow. We'll have to put it all the way back away in the car. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah so no sense of, huh. Right. No sense of bringing it up and down. Um, so yeah, we'll get the kayaks down later when we get back from the boat ride. Yeah, your hooks are way bigger than mine. I got 10 out. <laughs> Those have got to be, I don't know what, 11 or 12? What is it? Them catfish hooks. Oh, I, heard you. I got 10 out, the biggest you can buy at Academy, and it's, and they're not that big. Yeah. I don't think she's ever been in a real boat. Really? No. <laughs> Just the canoe only. I got that little 
30 amp trolling motor. That's what she's used to. Cove just gets shallower and shallower. Yeah. Always stirring up big stuff back there. She the said they're uh, grass carps. Well, we get some of those are that big. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. They're back there feeding on them plants and stuff. Pick up a few bass in and around the docks. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Water 72 degrees. Huh. Oh yeah, I got some tongue action there. Oh, tree snake? Yeah. It's only the second time I've seen a green one on the dock. I got some good pictures of that. Right when he was lashing his tongue. Probably three or four pounds. Right here at the boat dock. It's definitely not a bluegill, I can tell you that right now. This is six pound line. I got a baby oh, in. Line. You scared oh, a my fish. Gosh. <laughs> Record me. Yeah. Scaring them for sure, man. Yeah. Trying for bluegill and catch a big cat. Uh, they're not gonna have to reach down and get them. Not gonna be easy. It's a hard fighting fish. Look at this. <laughs> oh my oh god. My. Oh my. Big channel cat. Three, full three. I feel 
bad I didn't want to catch one of these, you know what I mean? Alright, dangerous. Your, your position is dangerous. You should lie down. Lay down and catch it. Not, not like that. Dangerous, you fall in the water. <coughs> Good. <sighs> oh, he's four pounds actually. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, guys. Not a bad channel cat. About four pounds. Wowzers. <laughs> Showing up good. Mm -hmm. It's blue. That has got a really nice male bluegill. My goodness. Look how orange. Mm -hmm. Show me real quick. Okay. Nice male bluegill, guys. Okay. What's in the basket? I got one right now, he just ain't pulling for me to set the hook yet. Uh, any second. They're getting smarter the long I stand down here. There he is! Oh my! Whoa! Oh, this is a red ear, I think! Holy cow! Yes, it is! Big old red ear! Oh my goodness! Yes! Big giant red ear, man! I don't even know if I should pull it up. It might break my line. Yeah, we are net. Oh my gosh. It's huge. It swallowed the hook. Oh. Just cut the line. That way yeah, you the line. You're gonna line. Okay. Tie a new hook up. That's almost my biggest one ever. Oh wow. that ain't that big. It's close. Yeah, but in Missouri they're tiny in Missouri. This is considered huge in Missouri right here. <laughs> yeah, it's considered huge in Michigan. Too. Are you sure that's not a pumpkin seed? No, Let me see. Enough. I don't I know don't. the difference. No, uh, uh, pumpkin seeds got a lot more blue on the cheeks okay. instead of brown. Boy, it's wet. Yeah, there ain't no getting that. Can't even see the beginning of it. Can you? You can use it. Yeah. We'll okay. Do that. Definitely. It's Wilma, I want you to record me. Oh yeah. No, he's not my biggest. He's my third, fourth biggest, maybe. Good. I didn't think they'd be over here. It's unusual. It's unusual. He's a big. That's what I mean. I thought he'd be way out in the 20 foot water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, I got two nice fish just trying to catch bait. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a big catfish. <laughs> my okay. gosh. I just want one of them on uh, white hey Guys, I got one of my achievements that I planned on doing when I was here, and that was landing my very first yellow perch. Yeah, he's got the red on his, yep. Yeah, he got red on his red ear. Oh my. Look at that. I don't know what to do with him. Yeah, they're a neat fish when they get about 13 inches. Right. 
Oh yeah, they're great eating. I thought they have the fin that sticks up. Yeah. yeah they're uh, okay, like a sauger. Oh, I threw it way out to get him. Away from the... Away from the yeah. duck. Alright guys, very first yellow perch. Pretty neat. I wish he would uh, stick his fin up, but that ain't going to happen. Trying to get him to do it. Flare, there you go, buddy. Yeah. He did it. Yeah, there you go. That is so cool. <laughs> I'll let him. I don't know if they would. Oh, the actually the catfish love them. Really? So yeah. we can you legally or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we uh, nice channel cat here. Two or three pounds anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just get the dip net out of the boat. You think? Probably be easiest. I was able to reach down, but it's not easy. If I miss this fish with this dip net, just call me stupid. There we go. Got it. Oh my. Yeah, that's a fat one, huh? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to get pliers. Yeah. Hopefully he didn't. No, nope, it's in the side of the mouth. You can get him out real easy. Can you get it? Um, right. yeah, with regular pliers. Hold, hold on just a minute. Let me put this dip net back away. Hey. Nice fish. We're scare all their pets away, though. <laughs> Light. Come out here, yeah. walk around. Okay. There's no light whatsoever, and we gotta be quick because my camera's getting ready to blink. There was no lighting in there, it wasn't showing up. <laughs> be on this side of me. That is a nice, that's a that that's one of them dark male channels. Yeah, good okay. job, honey. Man. <laughs> Hey, we each got one of those. That's my older man. brother Daryl. We're staying at his house right now. We're getting ready to go set out some big old cat rods with live bluegill targeting blue cat and flathead in the dark. <laughs> This is my special guest today, hey. my older brother Daryl. He's the cat king. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the fat cat. He is the cat king for sure. <laughs> we are here on Lake Gaston, Virginia. What? <laughs> that may have been one of them. minutes in a boat here at the fishing hole. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Pole number one. How deep you say we're in 20? Yes. We're in 20 foot of water, guys. They just started releasing water and we're waiting on it to come down this way should be working its way down. 
they're on a schedule where they're only doing about three hours a day out the dam and that's when the best bite your best chance of getting a catfish is when the water's flowing oops sorry there <coughs> pole number two one of the big dogs <laughs> Because we had about a 10 inch brim on that pole. <laughs> so hopefully that's the the big boy is that one. Yeah, that's what I was exactly thinking. <laughs> But it was Josh's first one. <laughs> yeah. Pole number four. Yellow perch. You never know. It got the giant on that. Yep. Yeah. The good thing about here, I'm just a guessing that you don't you have way less gar pester your stuff like in the Mississippi. Yeah, I don't really. They don't really mess with it, do they? I think it's too much work for them. Yeah. It's a while, and maybe a turtle. All right, guys, we got five, five rods out. We're not messing around. <laughs> Man, we got them trapped in a circle. They got to eat them. All right, guys, I will turn back on when something happens. We're going to set this one out a minute. Waiting on that sun to go down. We've got about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Picture of all the poles out like that. I have uh, officially gotten a bite and I'm letting, uh, I set the hook and I'm letting Wilma enjoy her first real blue cat. She's caught blue cats, but they've always been six inches. So I know this will be her personal best blue cat. It's either that or a flathead. I'm gonna say it's, it's blue. a blue, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. He's a yeah, I don't need pretty decent one. Good job, honey. <laughs> Alright, we was able to get him without a, without a dip net. <laughs> That's a good five, six pounder there. <laughs> a little bigger than earlier. You wanna you wanna hold it? <laughs> We could do the um, pictures at the dock too. We could put them in the live well. I can't believe he got that hook in his mouth. What I'll do, I'll hold the camera and shine the spotlight on you. And what you'll want to do, don't worry about him hurting you bad, but you'll have to put your thumb in his mouth. 
with one hand and then put your hand, other hand underneath his belly. You don't really need gloves for one that small. I mean, yes. he may have a glove. We have gloves but, that way maybe, so it's not as. All right guys, we got about, it's a five, six pound blue. Wilma's personal best blue, I do believe. <laughs> We did not get skunked, and that's what's important. Is that right? Good job, honey. Your personal best blue cat. Look at that. Hey. Look at the belly. Yeah, it's got a really big belly for his size, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Maybe it got a little big. No, it's just feeding a lot in the fall. They, they, they gorge themselves before the winter. He's definitely got something in there. Yeah, you keeping that? Or? No. Uh, okay. As long as you want it, I mean. No. Uh, let him go. We're going to let him go to see another day. Good job. Nice. Hopefully he don't tell the other ones. Don't bite. <laughs>